I want to tell you out there that everybody is hungry. We are sitting with businesses in town that has no income, so they can't pay the, themselves, uh, they can't pay their workers, so they've laid off all their workers. And this lockdown has actually caught all of us by surprise. The demand is huge. The demand is, is, is bigger than the, the, the supply. They have no choice about how many meals they can eat a day. They get one, and that's it. We are sitting with a community where the plight is so great. People need to be cared for. Even if the lockdown by tomorrow can be stopped, or the virus can go away, people will still be in need of jobs. There will still be a lot of hunger around. So the need will still be there. It will take down in time before that need can come to an end. About two years ago, we formed a non-profit company. Um, we are trading as Love George. With have Love George, we can demonstrate the love of God by being the hands and feet of Jesus out there in the community. It's a network of different churches, businesses working together to help to feed the poorest of the poor. We are helping people from across the city. It doesn't matter where you are. Looking back, we realized that God has prepared us to get to a point where we can just activate and start running. We're working with 106 church leaders at the moment. This is who we are in George, is that the moment something happens, uh, we stand together. Georgita stands on. And we are connecting with churches all over the city. So if you can help to enable us to buy the food and distribute it to the needy, uh, we can make a huge difference. There's nothing that unifies people like a public enemy. Currently it's the coronavirus, but we know that one of the spin-offs, the negative spin-offs of the coronavirus is poverty. It's people needing food. The estimate is that 10,000 people in George are already suffering a food need. They need food on their tables. They can't, they can't eat. So our estimate is, by worst case scenario, 15th of August, in three months time, there will be a need for 40,000 people to receive food. Our goal is to, by mid-August, to serve 4,000 people with food. In order for us to do that, we, we need money. 347,000 Rand per week. That's our estimate. And how we want to do this is through soup kitchens and then also through giving families food parcels. So please join in, take hands with us. The food packs we're giving out now and the work we're doing now is going to last them for a while, but the need is going to be there again. And this is why this is so important for people to support those who can, the industries, the business, the individuals who can. This is not a one-off. Uh, we're extremely grateful for the donations that we do receive, but it can't stop. We, we, need to, we need to open our hearts. We need to turn our hearts to one another. When you come to deliver something for them, the way they attached, you could see that the need was so huge. Their hope that we are bringing, you could see some of them, they are sharing some tears. So I plead to everybody who is in a position to contribute, do so. You are not giving to the church, but you are giving to those the church is providing for.